Welcome to testpassport.com. In this video, I will share real AS100 questions and answers with you. Microsoft AS100 real exam topics are as follows. Manage Azure subscriptions and resources 15 to 20%. Implement and manage storage 20 to 25%. Deploy and manage virtual machines VMs, 20-25% Configure and manage virtual networks 20-25% Manage identities 15-20% 1. You have an Azure subscription that contains 10 virtual machines. You need to ensure that you receive an email message when any virtual machines are powered off, restarted, or deallocated. What is the minimum number of rules and action groups that you require? A. 3 rules and 3 action groups. B. 1 rule and 1 action group. C. 3 rules and 1 action group. D. 1 rule and 3 action groups. Answer, C. 2. You have 100 Azure subscriptions. All the subscriptions are associated to the same Azure Active Directory Azure AD tenant named Contoso.com. You are a global administrator. You plan to create a report that lists all the resources across all the subscriptions. You need to ensure that you can view all the resources in all the subscriptions. What should you do? A. From the Azure portal, modify the profile settings of your account. B. From Windows PowerShell, run the Add Azure Aid Administrative Unit Members MD Let. C. From Windows PowerShell, run the new Azure Aid Acerap Roli Assignment CMD Let. D. From the Azure portal, modify the properties of the Azure AD tenant. Answer, C. 3. Which blade should you instruct the finance department auditors to use? A. Partner information B. Cost analysis C. External services D. Invoices Answer, D. 4. You plan to use the Azure Import – Export service to copy files to a storage account. Which two files should you create before you prepare the drives for the import job? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. A. An XML manifest file b. a driveset csv file c. a dataset csv file d. a powershell ps1 file e. a json configuration file answer, b c. 5. you have a recovery service vault that you use to test backups. The test backups contain two protected virtual machines. You need to delete the recovery services vault. What should you do first? A. From the recovery service vault, stop the backup of each backup item. B. From the recovery service vault, delete the backup data. C. Modify the disaster recovery properties of each virtual machine. D. Modify the locks of each virtual machine. Answer, A. 6. You plan to automate the deployment of a virtual machine scale set that uses the Windows Server 2016 data center image. You need to ensure that when the scale set virtual machines are provisioned, they have web server components installed. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. A. Modify the extension profile section of the Azure Resource Manager template. B. Create a new virtual machine scale set in the Azure portal. C. Create an Azure policy. 
D. Create an automation account. E. Upload a configuration script. Answer A B. 8. You have an Azure subscription named Subscription 1. You deploy a Linux virtual machine named VM1 to Subscription 1. You need to monitor the metrics and the logs of VM1. What should you use? A. Lab 3.0. B. Analysis Services. C. The Azure Performance Diagnostics Extension. D. Azure HD Insight. Answer, C. 8. You have an Azure subscription named Subscription 1. You deploy a Linux virtual machine named VM1 to Subscription 1. You need to monitor the metrics and the logs of VM1. What should you use? A. Lab 3.0 B. Analysis Services C. The Azure Performance Diagnostics Extension D. Azure HD Insight Answer, C. 9. You create an Azure Storage account named Storage. You plan to create a file share named Data. Users need to map a drive to the data file share from home computers that run Windows 10, which port should be open between the home computers and the data file share? A. 80 B. 443 C. 445 D. 3389 Answer, C. 10. You download an Azure Resource Manager template based on an existing virtual machine. The template will be used to deploy 100 virtual machines. You need to modify the template to reference an administrative password. You must prevent the password from being stored in plain text. What should you create to store the password? A. Azure Active Directory AD Identity Protection and an Azure Policy. B. A Recovery Services Vault and a Backup Policy C. An Azure Key Vault and an Access Policy D. An Azure Storage Account and an Access Policy Answer, C.